Hello everyone and let's do a book talk about uh, The Hunted Tribe, book number one. It is part of a series, uh, Declaration of War. There is a prequel novella, not novella, prequel novel to this, and then there is a book two. So this is book one. It is a very dark cover so it is kind of hard to see, but there is a, um, like a velociraptor there. So this is book number one, and this was published in 2016 and written by Roma Gray. This is a young adult horror. Now, I got this particular edition from my library book sale. Uh, it is not shelved. It would have been shelved as just a fiction horror, which means this would have been shelved with the adult books. But with how it reads, and according to Goodreads, more than likely it is a young adult, especially where the main... There's a couple of different POVs that we're following, but the main one is a young adult. So that's why I definitely say it's a young adult. It reads like a young adult. So what is this about? <clears throat> we have members of this indigenous tribe called the Dunaki. Dunaki. And <clears throat> they, some members, and this is like years and years and years and years and years ago like several generations past, they wanted more power. So they tried to make a deal with these spiritual creatures called the Grishla to gain more power. Well, the Grishla that they summoned was the raptor. And basically things happened and now the Grishla is on the hunt for the descendants of the Stunaki tribe to kill them. And that's pretty much it. We're following uh, this teenager as he's coming into some magical abilities. We follow points of views from his grandmother as she um, is going to try to teach him to hone his magical abilities. Uh, things like that. So that's pretty much what it is. As far as representation goes, I can tell you you have someone that's vegan. And you have obviously... Uh, p those people who are ancestors to this indigenous tribe. Outside of that, it's going to be pretty much up to your imagination. There's really not much to say. It's just, you know, like I said, this guy coming into his power and they are trying to survive from this Grishla, this velociraptor who's out to kill anyone that's a descendant of this Tuanaki tribe. So that's pretty much it. Really not much to say about it. Um, oh, I thought the battery light was flashing. I was like, wait. Okay. Uh, your content and your trigger warnings. You have loss of a loved one via death. You have suicidal ideations. Suicide is talked about quite a bit. You have um, an alcoholic family member talked about, as well as cancer. Bullying, addiction, self-harm, uh, family member that's addicted to drugs. So there's a little bit of heavy stuff. You also have dementia mentioned as well as schizophrenia. Okay. So those are, are that. Um, some of the character, different POVs that we are following. We have Shrinam Shrinvasan Ketwan who is... The main ancestor, we get a couple POVs where he's running from this Grishla with his little baby girl. So we get a couple of different POVs from uh, Shrinam. We have Henry, who is part Chinak and Cherokee. And we also have Elizabeth Wolf, who is the grandma that we are following, who's trying to teach her grandson. Um, and Henry is his dad. <clears throat> so, it's Sean's dad. Have like one or two POVs from his dad. We also uh, get a point of view from Greg Redcrow, who is the tribe leader called the Tree Boar. So, and then a point of view from a woman named Bridget. So, there's a couple of different POVs, but the main one is Sean who is referred to as the Ultra Witch. 
And that's one of the other things about this book is that the, when the Dwanaki tribe realized they were in trouble with this Grishla and they couldn't defeat him on their own, they decided to try to breed this ultra witch who would be able to defeat the Grishla. And so you're trying to see, is Sean the ultra witch? Will he be able to defeat the Grishla? Have things come to fruition to where they can now live and banish the, this Grishla creature forever. So... Those are the POVs, your content, trigger warnings, representations, and what the book is about. So, don't want to say much. Again, it's a horror. This particular edition was 269 pages, and I will say this one does leave on off on a cliffhanger, okay? Uh, now, in case you are still on the fence, <clears throat> let's talk about the words. We have suicide five times. The word God, 18, sometimes in a religious sense. Bastard, twice. The phrase God awful, twice. Damn it, once. Screw, once. And the word cutting, once, in reference to like self harm. So there's really not much to say about it. One, it's a horror. And two, it's a young adult. So the language is, there's not going to be a lot, but the words that are in there, like the reference to the self harm word and suicide they are in there but not overly so but they are there so just kind of be cautious heading into this but that's what this is about let me know have you read uh declaration of war which is book one in the hunted tribe have you read anything by roman gray yeah let me know your thoughts is this one that you're interested in picking up or are you kind of like eh, not not really for me let me know talk to me in the comment section below and until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book, and I will talk to you later.